South LA woman has been very lucky when it comes to winning sweepstakes. You've got to hear her name. <laughs> but her luck ran out recently when a major appliance company didn't make good on her price. Yeah, so she asked for two on your help. And CBS 2's investigator Christine Lazar is here now with her story. Quite a good one, isn't it? One of my favorite interviews. Yeah. I love this woman, and I'm so glad that we were able to help her. Now, we all see those sweepstakes. Many of us assume that our chances of winning are very slim. But a woman named Chocolate Harris has grown accustomed to winning weekly. In fact, the only thing she isn't used to is not getting her prize as promised. For more than 40 years, Chocolate Harris has started her day at 4 a.m. And I check my email and enter my sweepstakes before I actually have coffee in the morning. On average, how many sweepstakes are you entering every week? Oh, uh, well, I just bought 1,500 envelopes yesterday, so <laughs> I'd say about a couple hundred a week. But before you think the retired senior from South L.A. is wasting her time and money, listen to all that she's won. I have a 65-inch color TV, 3-D TV in my room, and I've got two printers, a camera. I have five computers. From the practical, like this washer and dryer, picnic cooler, to the absolutely ridiculous, like this disco ball cooler. She's also gone on vacation, all thanks to sweepstakes. I've had trips to Hawaii. I went to Florida on a trip, took a girlfriend to Florida on a trip. Uh, I went to Aruba on a trip that I won at the post office. How many cars have you won? I was going to say five, but I took cash for two. Do you think you're lucky or just persistent? I was born on Friday the 13th of a full moon, so I kind of think I'm lucky, but I'm persistent always. Chocolate's persistence has been tested since last February. It all started when she was notified that she'd won an appliance of her choice worth up to $1,500 from Whirlpool. The email told her she just needed to fill out some paperwork and fax it in. Chocolate says she called the judging agency that sent her the email to verify that the fax went through. Because I took them to Staples to fax them because my fax machine wasn't working. I need to win one of those. And uh, he acknowledged that he had received them. Two months passed and Chocolate hadn't heard anything from Whirlpool. She was antsy because her refrigerator is broken. It's been leaking water for months. And I was going to get it fixed, but when they told me I won one, I'm not going to put the money to get one fixed if I'm getting a new one. The judging agency responded to her email in April, writing that they assumed she'd already had her prize and that they'd contact Whirlpool. A few more weeks passed and Chocolate emailed them again and then again a few weeks later. Finally, on June 1st, Chocolate was told via email that a delivery agency would be calling. That hasn't happened either. I think if they're not going to do the prizes, then they shouldn't offer the sweepstakes. I mean, because otherwise it would be a scam. Why did you contact us? I was at my last resort. I have nothing else that I can do, so I was hoping that I could do two on your side and maybe you'd help me too. Your wish is granted. Two on your side contacted Whirlpool and they immediately reached out to Chocolate and promised to expedite her prize. Plus, she tells me that they've told her they're contacting her on Monday and they're going to give her something extra, like a consolation for all the hassle. So she'll be getting that new fridge. All right. She says she will not stop with those sweepstakes. <laughs> well, I want to get to know Chocolate. I mean, no she's given right? other people an idea. This is what you do when you retire. You enter sweepstakes. Yeah, all that good luck. Rubbing off, maybe? Yeah, she we is enjoyed lucky. that. She is. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Christine. Well, can two on your side help you out? Just email us at two on your side at cbs.com with your problem or on Twitter, use the hashtag two on your side. We'll see what we can do to you, for you rather, to solve your problem.